Yeah, welcome to Namaste Lake Chapala and our light circle morning, 11 a.m. Mexico time, light circle. Um, we're on Mexico time for about a month until it turns over till on April 7th to Central Standard Time. So, but we'll be posting all of these out on the internet. And this is our beautiful circle of beings dedicated, joined, the mighty companions joined here in truth. And they all send their love and, and gratitude for you for joining us in your heart in this circle to see what's true. And oh yeah, and that's Gracie. <laughs> Gracie is our spirit spirit dog that teaches us truly what celebration is. Okay, so with that, well, hopefully Gracie will be still so for a little okay. while yeah, right. and join us so that uh, we can focus. Okay, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> you sit in circles. <laughs> okay, so as always with these light circles, we focus on the light first, the light of infinite being that we can always see and always recognize as our true nature. And all these ideas, see that these are ideas actually arise within us and not apart from us. And that it's always a decision to deny, deny d divine nature by focusing on what the thought rather than on our divine who we are and see the thoughts in the light of who we are. So today, and we invite Jesus. We know Jesus is here because we're here. And uh, so we thank Jesus for joining us. And it's lesson, we're doing lesson 77 today. <laughs> and everyone's celebrating here because I'm entitled to miracles. <laughs> what a fun celebratory lesson this is. So the first thing we'll start with as we focus on the light first is we have another, uh, oh, well, come through. okay. Is Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind not to experience that I'm entitled to miracles? I'm willing to see this. Mm -hmm. beings here just signaling when they when it they ask Jesus in their heart and Jesus replies and it clears then we turn our hands over so we know to go on Jesus are there any other doubt thoughts in the subconscious mind that I'm entitled to miracles 24 7 all the time <laughs> I'm willing to see you I'm willing to see if there are any doubt thoughts and give those over to your holy care. Jesus, is there any doubt in the subconscious mind that I am a miracle? I'm willing to see that. Is there any desire that you can show me in the subconscious mind that I desire to have an experience where I don't feel like a miracle?
I'm willing to see and hear exactly what you have to say about miracles and who I am. You are entitled to miracles because of what you are. You will receive miracles because of what God is. And you will offer miracles because you are one with God. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to deny that I am able to offer miracles because of I'm, and deny I'm one with God? I'm willing to see. Again, how simple is salvation? It is merely a statement of your true identity. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to deny that salvation is my true identity? I'm willing to see that it's my true identity. It is this that we celebrate today. Your claim to miracles does not lie in your illusions about yourself. Jesus, is there any belief in the subconscious mind that my illusions, that miracles lie in my illusions about myself? Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to experience illusions as creating miracles? I'm willing to see that differently. That illusions can create miracles. It does not depend on any magical powers you have ascribed to yourself. Jesus, is there any desire to ascribe, my, ascribe magical powers to myself? I'm willing to see these and give these over. Jesus, is there any desire to hold on to seemingly magical powers to deny who I truly am? It does not depend on any magical powers you have ascribed yourself or any of the rituals you have devised. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to try and experience miracles, quote unquote, under, through rituals? Okay. 
or to use rituals to deny divinity. <coughs> delay, like it's a delay tactic to deny that love's here now. It is inherent in the truth of what you are. It is implicit in what God the Father is. It was ensured in your creation and guaranteed by the laws of God. Jesus, I feel willing to see this totally in my heart right now. that love is my true identity. <clears throat> that miracles aren't something that happen. Miracles are what I am. I'm going to see that. And celebrate that today. Today we will claim the miracles which are your right since they belong to you. You have been promised full release from the world you made. You have been assured that the kingdom of heaven is within you and can never be lost. We ask no, no more than what belongs to us in truth. Today, however, we will also make sure that we will not content ourselves with less. Jesus, is there a desire, any desire in the subconscious mind to have an experience where I am contenting myself with less than miracles? Jesus, is there any desire in a subconscious mind to have an experience where I content myself with less than all the love that I am? I'm willing to see that differently. Begin the longer practice periods by telling yourself quite confidently that you are entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. Closing your eyes, remind yourself that you are asking only for what is rightfully yours. Remind yourself also that miracles are never taken from one and given to another. And that in asking for your rights, you are upholding the rights of everyone. Jesus, I desire to see in my heart that asking for miracles serves everyone. I'm willing to see that to ask for miracles is to celebrate with God the Father. Miracles do not obey the laws of this world. They merely follow from the laws of God. Jesus, I'm willing to see that miracles completely suspend any laws of this world. And that as your Holy Son, 
I am not subject to any of the laws of this world. I'm willing to see that. that as an infinite being, one with God, I don't know what laws are in truth. So I'm willing to see that. Laws of the world, I know nothing of those. After this brief introductory phase, <laughs> wait quietly for the assurance that your request is granted. You have asked for the salvation of the world and for your own. You have requested that you be given the means by which it, this is accomplished. You cannot fail to be assured in this. You are but asking that the will of God be done. Jesus, I'm willing to see that miracles are the will of God. In doing this, you do not really ask for anything. You state a fact that cannot be denied. The Holy Spirit cannot but assure you that your request is granted. The fact that you accepted must be so. There is no room for doubt and uncertainty today. Jesus, I place any, the slightest thought of uncertainty and doubt in your holy hands. We are asking a real question at last. The answer is a simple statement of a simple fact. You will receive the assurance that you seek. Our shorter practice periods will be frequent and will also be devoted to a number of, a reminder of a simple fact. Tell yourself often today, I am entitled to miracles. Ask for them whenever a situation arises in which they are called for. You will recognize these situations. And since you are not relying on yourself to find the miracle, you are fully entitled to receive it whenever you ask. Jesus, I'm willing to see that I cannot rely on myself as I think I am for a miracle. Remember to not to be satisfied when less than the perfect answer be quick to tell yourself, should you be tempted, I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right.
There is nothing more powerful on this earth than my request for a miracle. Nothing in this world supersedes that divine right. Amen. <clears throat> feels that we're to open the floor if anyone feels in their heart to express i'm going to unplug this so they can hear you if not it's certainly fine just to rest as you are did you feel to share i do feel okay. to share <laughs> um you always start the session reminding us that, I'm not sure of the words, but that we're beings of light. And there were several things that were inter interwoven that all brought me to say, the miracle I want to see every time I'm not feeling that being of light is to go back into that, to remember that, to change my mind. So anytime I'm not in peace, just stop and say you're a being of light. You know, be love, be love. <laughs> so my, my practice for today and ever, I hope. <laughs> Thank you. That's. For me, I was moving gently, sweetly, smoothly through almost every question. I was so happy about that. My ego was very pleased with myself. Until you got to the question, do you believe that you are a miracle worker and you are here to do miracles? And it went glitch. This is my little truth button right here in my solar plexus. And I was shown the image of the miracle worker. That's a movie with Patty Duke about Helen Keller, if you know the movie. Oh, hello, Donna. <laughs> and I was shown the part where... Um, well, and Keller gets it, and they're pouring water into her hand and signing the word water, and she suddenly, click, I grok it. Water, sign, word, water, this is water, oh, I get it. And the awakening, I mean, it's just as profound, I'm getting God bumps. <laughs> I mean, it is the most profound, uh, for me, image of the movie, and so Jesus kept showing me that image of the miracle worker, which is the name of the actual movie, and um, and I thank you for the image, and I thank you for uh, allowing me to know that I too, Donna, am asked and am able, in fact, to step into that role, um, because I believe one or two or three questions after that by uh, beloved Kay was, do you, do you know or are you in resistance or in denial that you are a miracle and that was when the tears came because oh my god this is miracle miraculous how is it not so we breathe we eat we digest we we the blood goes through and comes back blue and red and all these things of course we're miracles and so the tears came and the realization of oh it is all a miracle and that's who we are and what we've come to share in our very being how can that not be true so I give so much thanks to Jesus, Holy Spirit, St. Germain, my guy, and for all of these, and thank you to my mighty companions. Oh, oh thank you. That's so good for everyone. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Right? Do you feel something, Janet? One of what she said about the being of light and reminding myself to always ask the Holy Spirit to keep me miracle mindedness rather than ego mindedness. And it was kind of what you were praying for that we be reminded, and that's the a miracle that we try to make a choice. Like either we are being a being of love or a being of love. 
I guess I don't really know. I guess I <laughs> Anyone else? It's certainly open. Oh, everyone feels clear? Yes, we are. Thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. Oh, my yes. brother, it makes it so easy. Mm -hmm. So easy focusing on the light together. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Jesus is really going for that direct experience for all of us and that his voice can be heard by everyone. It's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>